Welcome to AI Sciences and this is Sehri Shakil with you and uh, what we are going to do today uh, we have uh, will develop a small application code and in that code uh, uh, we will use uh, different uh, real time color detection and uh, for that color detection uh, like uh, of course we are going to capture it from some kind of image so some kind of libraries are going to use like OpenCV and uh, CV2 like something like that so everything will become clear like the, when the code is going to start so without wasting our time let's get started so this is I'm going to use importing of the CV2 import CV2 method is being imported and then from color thief right I'm importing another library of color thief okay after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable and in this, like, uh, I'm using instance of CV2 and this is going to capture my uh, webcam. So, video capture is used and with value of 0. Alright, now, I'll write a condition here that uh, while, this is my loop, I'm starting my loop. So, wh while it is true, so what it is going to do that uh, it will take my image and that image is going to t be taken from uh, camera dot read method then cv2 dot im show method is used for showing the image Sh not shadow im show all right and then uh, i'm giving it as a name of uh, image and that is my image image is captured here by using cv2 all right then can i'm writing my condition that till uh, my cv2 is waiting uh, kind of a method i have called here that i'm using my wait key here and uh, till which time it will wait until uh, any uh, key is being pressed from the keyboard so using key here of uh, equal to s s like i'm using it for stop so till s key is pressed so my block is starting here so this is like here user if user is pressing s key then it will capture the screen at that particular time and then what is going to happen then cv2 met uh, instance is uh, uh, choosing to write that particular image and uh, that is uh, going to create a window and uh, that image is going to write in image.jpg all right and break all right if condition is complete now camera dot release method is used and uh, secondly will destroy all active windows at that time so cv2 dot destroy all windows all right okay then I'm going to define uh, my method and uh, I'm defining the method of get colors Here I'm using uh, again my color thief and uh, here uh, let me copy it uh, that will be more easy <laughs> my I and E will not go anywhere <laughs> okay so color thief is here then uh, we are using it and then I'm using my image uh, dot jpg the same image which I have captured here that I'm going to use inside this uh, method so that it is capturing that particular image the image which we have captured here from our uh, cam uh, like from a webcam whatever screen was there that particular screen is being captured as the image now from that particular image we are now going to like uh, dra grab all the colors like which colors are existing so for that the code is that we are using the colors and uh, that is equal to uh, colors again we will use the color thief here and then we are going to get the palette 
get at, with the, the method of get underscore palette and there we are giving that uh, the parameter that how many uh, multiple colors we want to cache at particular time so uh, here I'm giving the color count color underscore count I'm using here two so this is like how the colors are going to be captured and then whatever colors are being captured that I'm going to show as the print and uh, this is going to get uh, the colors in the RGB form with the same like uh, the hay saturation and uh, value of that particular color. So that is going to capture. So after that, after this, um, I'm going to call this method with the name of get colors. All right. So let's run it. Okay, my webcam has become on. So um, where is, let me come out of that tip, uh, big screen. So let me check where my cam is. All right, this is my cam. So let it capture the screen. Uh, I'm going to use the S method. So this S is captured. After it, I'm going back and uh, I'm going to show it that uh, what kind of uh, colors are being captured here. So here they are uh, for this particular screen. These are the RGB form which is being captured for saturation, uh, your value and here. So let's run it again and uh, this time we can use it in a different way. Let's do it. So let's try another object this time and let's see its color. So let me show this and I'm going to press S. Now these are the colors for my black screen. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, another one with a different object again uh, running it. And uh, my webcam is going to on. So that is on. Now let's do it for this screen. And again pressing uh, S. So this is the color capture for that. So this is like, I think it's uh, uh, funny. <laughs> uh, in fact, and more uh, entertaining also. You can capture different kind of uh, objects and uh, your values of colors are appearing on the screen. And that is pretty easy. See, like, see the length of the code. I think three to four minutes code, not more than that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you uh, want to get more help from us or if you want to get uh, uh, new anything new in the cap Python or data science, do visit our uh, channel. The link is uh, given in the description box where we have uploaded uh, much of the courses and the videos which are really helpful for you. And uh, keep connected and keep learning with us and give us the feedback so that uh, we can uh, be more improved and connected with you. By the time, uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>